You want to sit in your stool? Yeah. Put your feet under. Public perception is important for me with regard to Gigi because representation matters. Representation matters across the board. Do you want to open it for me so we can pick out some cool colors? I know her independence is important with regard to her doing things for herself, but I have learned that she's not going to be that person. So she's going to need support. And the other aspect of that is Genevieve enjoys that. She feels good about herself. So it's just <laughs> perception matters. Mm. Did you go outside? Yeah. Yeah. Should I do? You're a little sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> I can, you're fine. Where are we going? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> we get to go to the mall, right? I have known Gigi for over three years now. I started hanging out with her at the end of my freshman year of college, and she's a really great friend, and she's more than a friend. She's like family. I think this is also super pretty, right? I'm gonna be Gigi's buddy for Miss Amazing for the National, so for all the days, I'll be there with her. She has a little bit of a difficulty with her vision, so I'll be there to help her make sure that it's smooth sailing, no bumps, no falls, nothing going on, and that she can just enjoy her weekend. So good to see you. I would like to find some earrings to go with my gown. She's like a lot of girls. She may present herself as being confident, but she also has a lot of anxiety and fears and concerns about what people may think of her, especially using a speech device because she's so different. Um, so I'm hoping that some of that nervousness and anxiety that she has on the inside will be even quelled further. Thank you for letting us help you make your beautiful earrings. Thank you so much. You can look forward to mm. Gigi definitely has a very contagious, positive attitude with anybody that she talks to. She can put a smile on anybody's face, and it's something that makes her, like, so special. Even leading up to the event, I still am chatting with state directors about how their events are going. Um, Cool. So, Jeannie, you uh, you were talking a little bit about your progress on fundraising. What what kind of things do you have in motion right now? We're going to do a jewelry pool and a backwards auction, endless mimosa brunch. I never say none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dare I say that we're in, we're inviting a lot of uh, cougars from <laughs> that like it, jewelry <laughs> and um, mimosas. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. We only have four days until nationals, which is pretty crazy. I can't wait to see all of you. But um, thank you so much for being here, and enjoy the rest of your days. Yeah, just leading up to the event, there's so many errands that need to be run. So if one thing drags on a little bit longer, that totally affects other things that I'm able to get done. So yeah, yeah, everything's set. It's just a lot of things that can only happen in the two days leading up to it, so. Yeah, so pretty much every printer in the place was broken and uh, we had to use the employee's personal computer, but I have to meet my mentor, so let's go. <laughs> So I'm on my way to uh, meet Ziana, who's at my apartment right now waiting. She's my mentor and has been really crucial in helping Miss Amazing develop its theory of change. It's so important for any entrepreneur to have tools in place like mentors and um, just inspiring people and surrounding oneself with inspiring people who have kind of already been through it. How was your trip? It was easy. Oh, good. Oh, good to see you as Hopefully well. you don't mind the casual location. Uh, this is fantastic. We don't get this often, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right, I think it really started cementing in my mind when we first started talking about just a lack of understanding truly what, what people with disabilities can accomplish. You know that my sister yeah. is disabled. She was told, and the same stigma is you'll never graduate high school, you'll never have a normal job, you'll never live on your own. And she, like, not only 
just annihilated all of those right. things, but like went above and beyond anything, you know? And so that was the greatest accomplishment. And her biggest confidence builder was graduating high school. Parents and caregivers need to be included in this conversation because I do think it starts there very early when very well-meaning people in the lives of uh, girls and women with disabilities want to protect their daughters and protect right. the women, but they might not realize that really she can accomplish so much more if the expectation is there. Um, I mean, I think it's 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 correct to say that about any woman. Right. And exactly. so let's let's yeah. give let, give me a piece of paper. This is let's start building blocks <laughs> here. We'll start building blocks here. Some of the ways that I've found really helped me grow as a leader is surrounding myself with people that I really admire and that I look up to and friends and then also mentors as well. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. Get it? Oh, it's amazing. Three, four. Come on. Wings up. <laughs> Wings up. <laughs> <laughs> give you a ring for good luck, okay? Gigi and Coach Christine have a very special relationship and um, they just enjoy each other's company so much. So this has really been a beautiful experience to have the two of them together. It allows me to step out of the picture as mom the coach and Christine is in this role. It's a little more joyful for Gigi. Good luck and are you ready to be a butterfly? Yeah. Gigi has chosen to be the monarch butterfly in this interpretive dance because conservation means a lot to her and the evolution of the butterfly uh, is a metamorphosis and so we just thought that that would be a really perfect fit for her. My wings are very big and they are made of flimmy and silky fabric. I hold two sticks that extend the wings up and out. I really love those wings. I feel like I can actually fly. All right. We're having a moment. It's okay. She's a little bit embarrassed, too. Because when you start to cry, then you're like, oh my God, everyone's watching me. You look gorgeous. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Oh, and your earrings. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Okay. Smile, wave. Wave. I know. The importance of wildlife conservation means a lot to me. I hope to inspire. That was wonderful. We ready? Are we ready to go party? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Yeah. We are having Genevieve's kickoff party right now, and so we have guests showing up, and they're from all um, aspects of her life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She is so beloved. There are so many people that follow what she does in her life. They see her successes. They're very inspired by all the different things that she does within her community, all her interests. And they are behind her 100%. Um, they're supporting her. And she's very lucky to have so many people that love her. so nervous to speak in front of people, especially those girls who are looking up to me. All this hard work is coming to a head, and now it's time to party and have fun. <laughs>